Now in this video, I'm going to talk about how to calculate regression using R and RStudio. There's a link to the actual R code and a complete playlist on how to calculate regression. I encourage you to check that out, especially the playlist. I'm going to talk about and show you how to set up the actual R code and how to interpret the results. Here's the actual R command. I'm going to use X as my independent variable. C means combined or concatenate. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 are my independent variables. Actually, I should say independent variables there. And I'm using Y for the dependent variables. I'm going to load the data into a table called regression. You could use any words you like. LM stands for linear model. Y in that little line means Y is a function of X. I'm going to use summary regression to show the results. I can also use a thing called confident or confidence interval to show the confidence intervals for the regression analysis. Let me flip over to R now. So you can download this code. There's a link below. When I highlight the X and Y rows and hit run, it loads the table up with X and Y values. Now I can simply just run my regression. I highlight the row called summary regression and hit run. And bada bing, look at that. That was easy, a lot better than by hand. I can highlight that row right there and run it and show you the confidence intervals. And I'll discuss that in a little detail in just a second. Let me run the regression again. And I will discuss how to interpret the results and how to use those results too. The output table in R for regression, there's a lot of information. And let me walk you through some of it now. Let me draw in a graph so I can show you visually what things mean. The green dots with the little blue in the middle are the actual values, and the brown dash line is the estimated equation, estimated line, and the actual equation is y hat is equal to 2.2 plus 0.6x. 2.2 is the y-intercept, and it's that number right there, and it's where the estimated line touches or crosses the y-axis. Point 0.6 is the slope of the line, and that's the x estimate. The residuals is the distance between the estimated values and the actual values. Like, for example, negative 0.8 is the distance between those two values, and so on and so forth. Now, it's useful to know, it might be a good test question, if you add up all the residuals, they equal to zero. The standard error, the estimate, is called residual standard error in R. I don't know why. I really don't. I don't know why. And the R squared is called the multiple R squared. Again, I don't know why. Just accept it. And there's a bunch of other stuff, your t-values, your p-values, so on and so forth. Some of it's not very useful. Often looking at the confidence intervals can tell you whether or not your estimates are very good or not. So let me draw all this back in. I shouldn't have erased it, I guess. The range of the y-intercept is from negative 0.78 to positive 5.18. So I'm 95% confident that my actual intercept is in that range, which is, well, not very good. Now I can look at the actual confidence intervals of my slope, and that's from negative 0.30. So the line kind of slopes down. Let me move that equation and that x back over like that. And a positive, the slope runs to a positive 1.5 like that. So I'm 95% confident the slope is either downward sloping or upward sloping. And again, that's not very good. So it tells me my model is not a very good estimator. That's not so bad, I hope. And 
you know, you spent basically five minutes of your life watching this video, and I would encourage you to spend a little bit more of your time watching the entire playlist. And you find links below and also the R code below. And don't forget to share the knowledge, share the love, and like me, please like me somewhere here on Facebook.